So not the first time I hear such question. What is realistic and what is not realistic? Remember the steps before innovation. Remember first days of Russian invasion and a lot of different propositions because some of them have been realistic for us to survive, not realistic, and etc. So I believe in people, in our people and in people not only Ukrainians, first of all in Ukrainians because the war the war in Ukraine and the, the strongest weapon what we had at the very beginning of the war is just our people. Different. I think this is the strategic weapon. But we lose them. And that is the problem of the war, especially of the long war. It's a big tragedy for us, really, to lose our people. And that's why I, I believe in our people in unity in Ukraine. If we will not lose unity in Ukraine, we will prevail. I'm sure, 100 percent. But it depends on the unity of our partners. It really depends. Because the morality of people, you know, long war, it's understandable. All our feelings were understandable. I don't want to go further to this question, but I think you understand. Strengthening of Ukraine, it's not only depending on the weapon this kind or that kind it depending on the will if if our partners will not lose their unity we will not lose and this will, strength and we will not use that you uh, will be, we will not lose that unity it's you so can count important. on that and my message today to Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin is that if he thinks we will, we will not. And today again is evidence. Look what the Australians have done, what the Germans are doing, what the US has done today. Uh, uh, again, uh, announcing uh, almost half a billion in um, anti-missile defense systems. I've spoken over the last three weeks with all allies. There is absolute unity. We will massively make sure that Ukraine has what it needs to fight the war against Russia. We will continue doing that. And if anyone in the Kremlin will think that by sowing division we will stop this, no, this will not happen. And Ukraine will be member of NATO. There is no doubt about it. It's so important and that's why uh, it's not a question of debates. We just, I think we need to strengthen us urgently. To my mind, that is very important now. And debates about invitation and uh, long distance weapon, of course they are. Some, some people, they rise up, their question, their, their volume, their, 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 the level of risks with it, and etc. But I remember our first steps with Patriots, then with F-16, uh, before it, MLRS, HIMARS. Leo's too. Always, yeah. yeah, always debates. But here we, we are. are. We are here democracies. We are. Ukraine is a democracy. The 32 allies are democracies. Yeah, yeah. So you will have debates. But there's absolute unity that we will come, because this is about our values, about our collective security. We cannot have an emboldened Russia on, uh, at the NATO borders because they would somehow have been successful in Ukraine. We cannot accept that because of our values and because of our collective security interests. And this is from Los Angeles to Tirana to the most eastern city in, in on NATO territory. We are aligned on this. You see, we have unity. Good beginning. We need 32 more.